Good morning, Bulldogs. Eight and I here hanging out on a cold Sunday night. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I definitely recharged with a lot of rest and, and spent a lot of time with Ada. Uh, she's looking forward to coming back on Tuesday. The house is pretty excited. Uh, so I'm going to bring her to school tomorrow. So uh, she definitely misses you guys. Looks forward to seeing you. Uh, let's get this rolling now. Please stand for the morning ceremony. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Once again, good morning, Bulldogs. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, just to give you a little something here, um, we're going to have uh, lunch and learns have started again, and this is where different professionals in our community and our region uh, come in and talk to you guys about um, different occupations and what they do and what qualifications, try and inspire and give you ideas what you can do with your future. Uh, tomorrow, we have high power labs coming in. If you're interested, if you're really good in science or chemistry, um, stop down. Um, but Tuesday, they'll be coming in during seminars. So stop by counseling today and make sure you reserve your spot. This week, we have our spirit week. Today is gonna be holiday character day. Uh, Tuesday is ugly sweater day. Wednesday is PJ and free hot chocolate by the um, cafe. And then Thursday during our fun day is the green, our red and green day. Just a reminder, we have the fun day being planned for Thursday. Right now, things are still rolling. I mean, things could change, but right now we're ready to go. Um, just to look at this again, if you're in grade six through nine, you're gonna go to first block, eighth and ninth graders will go play dodgeball, buses come, um, then the buses will roll to the movie. Um, then when you come back, you'll have an assembly with Mr. Fitch in the auditorium. Um, and then in the afternoon, grade six and seven, they'll do dodgeball. 10 through 12, you're gonna have a talent show in the auditorium. I don't know exactly when that'll start, but sometime during first block, you'll be released to uh, the auditorium for that. You'll, and then you'll have your assembly with Mr. Scott Fitch. Uh, Scott Fitch is an amazing guy. He's got a strong Livonia connection. He's a basketball coach and a motivational speaker. Um, and he's coached some of the top uh, basketball players ever come out of Livonia. And he's worked very closely uh, with Mrs. D. Imperio over the years with a lot of the leadership functions we've done um, for many years. And I've known him um, since uh, um, we were young and he's just an amazing guy, uh, amazing speaker. And I'm so glad we could have him back with us uh, to share his time with us on, on Thursday. Uh, but then the afternoon, they're halfway through lunch, 10th through 12th graders, you'll load the bus for the movie and that'll take you to the end of the day. Now, obviously um, we have a lot of things going on in the area. Um, different schools having issues with numbers, things like that. Uh, so for us to make this fun day work, uh, there's safety precautions. And that there's safety precautions that have to be approved, not only from our, our school and our building planning team and our building safety team, but also at the district level and our local health department. So um, we have to follow these guidelines for this to work. And how well we do, which we, I mean, you guys do, will determine how many of these we can plan down the road. So if we want these cool activities to happen, uh, just like a normal school year, then we need to make sure we're following the rules that are in place and the safety precautions that are in place. If we can't follow them, uh, then we can't plan them. So it really comes up to you guys. So when you're in the assembly with Scott Fitch, we've done assemblies before, uh, we'll be seated by class and Dr. Kelsey and I, and Mrs. Hogg will help you get seated. You'll sit every other seat and obviously you gotta be masked in the auditorium. Uh, when you're on the bus, uh, there's gonna be about 45 students per bus. Uh, you need to be masked. Um, six through ninth graders, you're gonna get on the bus by classes. So whatever class you're in, first block, that's how you're gonna get on the bus. And they'll, your teacher will tell you which bus you're getting on. Uh, 10 through 12th graders, you're gonna be getting on halfway through lunch. So the way that's gonna work is you're going to sign up for buses or by the main office. Uh, we need, once again, it'll be about 45 students per bus. We'll have a couple adults per bus, but you must ride the bus to go to the movie. Uh, so no one can drive over. We're going to unload the buses straight into the theater. Uh, so in order to go to the movies, you got to be on the bus. Once again, you got to wear your mask. And once you get to the movie, like I just said, we'll go directly into the theater. You'll have to sit every other seat. I know many of you guys, you have to wear your mask. Like I was about to say, many of you went to the movies this weekend. Maybe you saw Spider-Man or it's really good. Can't wait to see it. I wouldn't mind seeing it twice. Uh, but we need to follow the guidelines for school when we're there. And that means we're going to be sit every other seat. We're going to wear our mask. And we can't all go to the concession stand at the same time. So each theater is going to release a row at a time to go to the concession stands. Um, and if you think about this, this will help you to, list, to miss less time of the movie because it'll go a lot smoother at the concession stand. So you can get your food and get back as quick as possible so you don't miss the movie. So once again, these are rules that are determined. They have to be in place for us 
to not only make Thursday fly, but to make anything we plan moving forward. So uh, if we want more of this to happen, I'm trying to do my best to make sure we plan these fun days and things that are more normal to a normal year. Uh, we need to make sure we're following the guidelines in place. We're gonna have a lockdown drill here in a, in a couple of days, probably Tuesday afternoon. Uh, we have to have one um, in the month of December. Uh, we had one planned earlier on, but with things that were going on, um, we just decided to postpone it to this week. Uh, but we do need to make sure we do one before we leave for the holidays. Uh, with all the nonsense on Twitter, TikTok last week, and that was nonsense, um, we need to film, make sure we uh, familiarize ourselves with our lockdown procedures. Uh, just a reminder that lockdown is different than shelter in place. It looks similar, uh, but lockdown is when there's imminent threat in the building. That's what this is. Um, so lockdown procedures, just like shelter in place, you move to the closest room, the doors are locked, windows are locked. Um, but with a lockdown, once you're in the room, uh, you move to a seated position out of view of the door. And you need to silence your, your cell phones. And if you have time, you can barricade the door um, using either furniture, tables, flipped up file cabinets. And you need to know where your escape room is. There's always an emergency exit in the room. Um, so even if it's a fire alarm in our building, we shelter in place. But even when we're sheltered in place during a fire drill, we're always looking for you know signs of fire, whether it's smoke or flames, heat, and you always know where your fire exit is in the room and be ready to use it. Um, if you're outside when we have a lockdown, you don't come back in the building, you go to the nearest building, and you stay there safely. Uh, and if needed, we might have to evacuate, but all that comes through directions, either uh, through the Navigate app, app that your teachers have on their phone or over the PA. That's why it's very important that whether it's a fire drill, a shelter in place or a lockdown, that we're very quiet. Because when it comes to a real emergency situation, you're gonna to need to follow directions. And it's really tough to follow directions if you're not quiet and you don't hear them. So that's really uh, crucial to try to stay uh, as quiet as you can so you can listen to the directions and know what to do. For our drill this week, uh, we're not gonna have everybody uh, hide in the corner out of sight of the door just because of the COVID protocols that are in place. Uh, what we'll do is we'll split the group into every classroom into four groups. One group will go see themselves out of line of the side of the door. Uh, one group will um, look at ways or maybe actually barricade the door. One group will move to the emergency exit to identify that. And one group will look to ways to defend the classroom if needed. And then each of those groups afterwards can have a discussion uh, with your teacher. Even now, after these announcements, if you want to have a discussion with your teacher, if you have any questions or concerns, you know, please talk to them now. And uh, just know that safety has been our number one focus all year and last year, and it will continue, to, it will be, and it will continue to be. So if you have any questions, you can always grab Dr. Kelsey or Mrs. Hug and I in the hallway and ask those questions there too. Once again, it's been a tough couple of weeks, it's been a tough couple of years. Uh, and many of us have struggled at times. Many of us have feel pressure, pressure to succeed, pressure to live up to expectations or just make it through a tough day. Because that's the truth, that's the truth for many of us. So who do you share your truth with? Who do you tell? Because we can only get through the tough times with the support and help of others. And you can't get the support though if you don't let other people know. So who do you tell? Oops. You may feel that other people don't understand, like you don't think your parents understand or your teachers understand or your friends. The reality is most of them do understand. Some of them have actually been there or maybe have felt those feelings recently and they can empathize what you're going through. But I know we all need someone to reach out to when we're struggling, a trusted adult you can go to. Because even if that trusted adult can't help you, they'll stand by you until you get the help you need. And they'll continue to check in with you while you're getting that support. So who's your trusted adult? Who do you reach out to? If you wrote a name down right now of someone in this building that you could go to if you're struggling, who would it be? Maybe it'd be a good idea to let them know today. There's one thing I know about Livonia, there's so many people who truly care about you. So please, please reach out to someone if you're going through a tough time and let them know. And if a friend reaches out to you and they haven't shared with anyone else, you take them to an adult you trust and help them get the support they need. And don't forget about the Livonia tip line. We have a tip line on our webpage, it's up in the right hand corner. And it's an updated tip line now that actually goes straight to administrators, including me and Dr. Kelsey, and we can interact with you um, 24 hours a day of what you need if it's an emergency situation. Remember, only use it in emergency, but please use it um, if you feel like someone is in a tough spot. I want to leave you on a, something here that's really been a blessing these last couple of weeks are the holiday concerts. I really love the fact that we're all back together um, in the auditorium, enjoying these wonderful uh, performances. 
I got to say, I, I really missed it in uh, this past week with the course concert. Um, it was really cool to watch the Hallelujah Chorus. If you haven't seen a Louis Chorus, um, it's a tradition where we have a number of uh, individuals, whether they're alumni or parents have graduated here, they all go back, they all go on stage and join our chorus and sing at the end of the performance. So I'd like to leave you with that. Once again, something that really, another reason why Livonia is such a special place. Think strong, Bulldogs. Stay strong and be strong. <laughs>